Blessed is our God, always, now and forever, to the ages of ages. Amen. All the blameless in the way, Alleluia. Blessed are you, Lord, teach me your statutes. Alleluia. Ebbe pothisen i psychi vu tu epithymise, ta krimata su el panti kero. Alleluia. My soul is slumbered from sorrow. Strengthen me with your words. Alleluia. Clean on tinka dia mu, is a martyria su, que mis pleon exian. Alleluia. I am a partaker with all that fear you and with them that keep your commandments. Alleluia. Me toco sego y mi panto ton fovu menos su que ton fila ton ton ta sendo la su. Alleluia. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit both now and ever to the ages of ages, amen, alleluia. Have mercy on us, O God, according to great mercy, we pray to you, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Can we pray for the repose of the soul of the servant of God, Sophia, who has fallen asleep for the forgiveness of all her errors, both voluntary and involuntary. Lord, have mercy. That the Lord God will place her soul with the righteous rest and grant her the mercies of God, the kingdom of heaven, and the forgiveness of her sins. Let us ask of Christ, her immortal King and God. Let us pray to the Lord. For you, the resurrection and life and the repose of your servant Sophia, who has fallen asleep, O Christ our God. To you we ascribe glory, together beginning with Father, your all holy, good, and life giving spirit, now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. And the mercy on me, Alleluia. Look upon me and have mercy on me according to the judgment of them that love your name. Alleluia. O tie genithi sosas kosen pakni ta dike o matasu ke pelathomina. Alleluia. I am young and counted as nothing. Your commandments have I not forgotten. Hear my voice, O Lord, according to your mercy, according to your judgment, quicken me. Alleluia. Από τον κρίμα τον σου και ξεκλίνα, ότι εσύ ενωμοθέτησας με αλληλούια. I have gone astray like the sheep that is lost. Seek your servant, for I have not forgotten your commandments. Alleluia. Έκλεινα την καρδία μου, του πείσε τα δικαιώματά σου, εις τον αιώνα διαντάμιψη, ελέησον με Κύριε. Your hands have made me and fashioned me. Give me understanding, and I will learn your commandments. Have mercy on me, O Lord. Kiros tu pise to kirio, vies keda santo nomo su, eleison me kirie. 
I am yours, O oh, save me, for I have sought your commandments. Have mercy on me, O oh, Lord. Queros tu pise, quirio di esquela santo nomo su, eleisor me quirie. O Lord, I have inclined my heart to perform your commandments forever. In return for your mercies, have mercy on me, O Lord. Epivlepson epeme keleisome, katato kriva ton agapon ton ton masua, liluia. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, to the ages of ages. Amen. Have mercy on me, O Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. For you are the resurrection and life and the repose of your servant, Sophia, who has fallen asleep, O Christ our God. To you we ascribe glory, together beginning this Father, your all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. The choir of the saints has found the fountain of life and the door of paradise. May I also find the way through repentance. I am the sheep that was lost. Call me up to you, O Savior, and save me. Ευλογητό η κύριε, δίδαξο με τα δικαιώματα σου. Ο πάρεν με εκ των όντων πλάσα με και η εικόνη σου θεία τιμή σα. Παραβάση εντολή σε πάλι με επιστρέψα. Εξή ελληνε λύθη. Ει το καθομίο συνεπανάγαγε. Το αρχαίο καλό αναμορφώσαστε. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. I am the image of your unutterable glory. Though I bear the scars of stumbling, have compassion upon me, the work of your hands. O Sovereign Lord, and cleanse me through your loving kindness and the homeland of heart's desire. Bestow on me by making me a citizen of paradise. Ευλογητό η κύριε, διδαξόν με τα δικαιώματα σου. Αναπαύσον ο Θεό την δούλητζου και κατάταξον αυτήν εν παραδείσο. Όπου χωρί τον Αγίου. Κύριε, και οι δίκαιοι εκλάψου συνοσφωστίε. Την και κοιμημένη δούλη σου ανάπαυσον. Παρορών αυτή πάντα τα εγκλήματα. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, the triune radiance of the one Godhead, with reverent song acclaiming. Let us cry, Holy are you, O eternal Father. Co-eternal Son and Holy Spirit, shine with your light on us who in faith adore you, and from eternal fire rescue us. Can in kei kei stu seona sto neono namin, here semni theos arkitekusa ispandon sotiria. Δις γένος των ανθρώπων έφρατο τη σωτηρία, δια σου έβριμε παράδεισο, Θεότο και αγνή ευλογημένη. Αλληλούια, 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 glory to you, O God. Αλληλούια, 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 δόξα σοι, ο Θεός. Αλληλούια, αλληλούια. Glory to you, O God. Please stand. Neta to ai. Oh, 
Pleasure in life ever remains unmixed with grief. What glory endures immovable on earth, and things are feebler than shadows, all more elusive than dreams. In a single moment, all are supplanted by death. But in the light, O Christ, of your continent and the sweetness of your calmness, rest the one you have taken like a true friend of man. Like a flower, it withers, and like a dream, it vanishes and dissolves away. Every human being, yet at the call of the trumpet, all the dead, as if in an earthquake, shall rise to meet you. Christ your God, at that time, Lord, rest the spirit of the one you have taken from us in the dwelling of the saints, O Christ our God. All human things are vanity, which do not survive a person's death. Riches do not go with us, nor does glory accompany us on the way. For when death comes upon us, all of these shall vanish. Indeed, therefore, let us cry to Christ, the immortal King. Give rest to her who is departed from us in the dwelling place of the blessed. Indeed, how awesome of our death is the mystery, how the soul is forcibly separated from its harmonious union with the body, and of their coexistence, this natural bond by divine will is broken. Therefore, we implore you, give rest to the departed one in the dwelling of the righteous, O giver of life and lover of mankind. I brought to mind the prophet who cried, I am earth and dust, and again I looked into the graves and beheld the naked bones and said, To whom could these belong, king or soldier, rich or poor, righteous or sinner? But give rest to your servant, O Lord, among the just, as a gracious and loving God. My origin and my very being come from your creative command, for at your will you fashioned me a living being from invisible and visible nature. From the earth my body you formed, and you gave me a soul by your breath, the life-giving and divine. So Christ, your servant, rests in the land of the living and the dwelling of the righteous. Give rest, O Savior and giver of life, to, the, to our sister whom you have taken from things and temporal, as she cries, glory to you. I weep and I lament when I come face to face with death and see lying in the graves our beauty, which was made in the image of God, disfigured and glorious, all its form destroyed. How strange indeed that the lamentable mystery should happen to us, how we have given to corruption and how became partners with death. Indeed, as written by the command of God, who grants to all the departed eternal rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Your death from mankind, O Lord, became the cause for our salvation. For had you not in the tomb been laid, for us paradise would open not. Therefore, as the departed in your eternal love for men. <speaking in Hebrew> 
Χρήση του αιώνα στον αιώνα να μην αγνή παρθένε του λόγου πύλη του Θεού ημών μύτη ηχέτευε του σωθήνε την ψυχή αυτή. Blessed always be the road you travel today because for you has been prepared a place of eternal rest. Macaria e odos e por Σήμερον, ότι τι μαστισί το ποσά να πάψε ο Blessed always be the road you travel today, because for us you have prepared a place of eternal rest let us be attentive i will cry out to you o lord wisdom the reading is from the first letter to the holy apostle paul to let the us be attentive brethren i will not have you ignorant concerning those who are asleep that you may not grieve as others do who have no hope For since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have fallen asleep. For this we declare to you by the word of the Lord, and we who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, shall not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will descend from the heaven, And with a cry of command, with the archangel's call, and with the sound of the trumpet of God, and the dead will, in Christ will rise first, then we who are alive, who are left, shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we shall always be with the Lord. Peace to you. Let us stand, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you all. And to your spirit. The reading of the Holy Gospel is according to St. John. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. The Lord said to the Jews who came to him, Truly, truly, I say to you, who he, he who hears my words and believes him who sent me has eternal life. He does not come into judgment, but has passed from death to life. Truly, truly, I say to you, the hour is coming and now is when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God and those who hear will live. For as the Father has life in himself, so he has granted the Son also to have life in himself and has given him authority to execute judgment because he is the Son of Man. Do not marvel at this, For the hour is coming when all who are in the tombs will hear his voice and come forth. Those who've done good to the resurrection of life, those who've done evil to the resurrection of judgment. I can do nothing on my own authority. As I hear, I judge. And my judgment is just because I seek not my own will, but the will of the Father who sent me. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. 
Have mercy on us, O God, according to great mercy. We pray to you, hear us, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Can we pray for the repose of the soul of the servant of God, Sophia, who has fallen asleep, for the forgiveness of all our errors, both voluntary and involuntary? That the Lord God will place her soul in the righteous rest and grant her the mercies of God, the kingdom of heaven, and the forgiveness of her sins. Let us ask of Christ, O mortal King and God. To you, O Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. O God of spirits and of all flesh, who trampled down death, crushed the power of the devil, and granted life to your world, do you yourself, O Lord, give rest to the soul of your servant, Sophia, who has fallen asleep in a place of light, in a place of green pasture, a place of repose where there is no grief, sorrow, or mourning. Forgive every sin which she has committed in word, deed, or thought, for you are a good God who loves mankind. For there is no one who lives and does not sin. Only you without sin and your righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and your word is truth. For you are the resurrection and life and the repose of your servant Sophia, who has fallen asleep. O Christ, your God, to you we ascribe glory, together with the beginningless Father, your all holy, good, and life giving Spirit, now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. What they see in us that sees, is we cannot pop cease. Tis que humanis do lisu, Sophia, Christeo, Theo, Simon, que sin te dox on a pample man, si tu ran hanu su patri, que tu panayi o que gatho, que zopi su nev matin in que ai, que es tu se o non sone o non. Glory to your God, a hope, glory to you. May Christ, your God, who is risen from the dead and has dominion over the living and the dead, as an immortal king through the intercessions of his most pure holy mother, of the holy glories or praise for the apostles, holy glories, God bearing fathers, of the holy glories, forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, of his holy and righteous friend Lazarus, who was four days in the tomb, and of all the saints, assigned to the dwelling place of the righteous, the soul of his servant Sophia, who has departed from among us, granted rest in the bosom of Abraham, and numbered among the righteous. And may you also have mercy on us and save us, for he is a good God who loves mankind. May your memory be eternal, ever blessed, ever memorable sister. May your memory be eternal, ever blessed, ever memorable sister. May your memory be eternal, or ever blessed, and ever memorable sister. Eonia. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Christ is in our midst. He is and ever shall be. We are here. We know why we're here. To say goodbye to Sophia. When I received the news and it said family only, I texted Father John right away and I said, Father, can I come? Please, please, please. And he said, sure. Sophia and her family send me a Christmas card every year. And she was one of my yayas here when I came into the church. And, and I love her and, and I love her family dearly. Father John asked me, Father Nick, why don't you stay for Sunday? And I said, no, Father, I, I can't. I have services in Fort Worth and I have a sacrament in Fort Worth on, on Sunday. Uh, I can't come. 
And then I saw the news, father sick, and my presentator said, I bet Sophia had something to do with it, <laughs> to have me stay. One of the first hymns I learned in the church was the everlasting be her memory. May your memory be eternal. However, translation you like it, uh, I learned it from my father's own funeral. And it has been one that has touched my heart, partly because we, we uh, misconstrue the meaning of it. We think, may her memory be eternal, almost as if none of us forget her, right? May her memory be eternal. But it's, it's a prayer that we offer to God that God may never forget her. The idea is um, we are all here through the goodwill and grace of God. And if he were to forget us, we'd probably cease to exist. And so may her memory be eternal unto God eternally, that God never forgets her. Not that, not that he would, but that is our prayer because that is our hope. And even in death, we continue to live eternally with God. And that is the invitation for all of us as we, we are baptized and brought into the communion of saints. May her memory be eternal is our prayer. And as she is in the presence of God, she continues to, to pray for us that same prayer. May the memory of us be eternal unto God. In one of the prayers we have at the funeral service, at the very end, we speak of Lazarus, the friend of the Lord. And we, we are all familiar with the reading where Christ goes to Bethany uh, because his friend was sick and then we learn that he had died. And it's an interesting read. He's on his way to Jerusalem and, and his disciples are, are telling him, Lord, now, now is not good. Now is not a good time. They seek to stone you. And while he's having this discussion, uh, friends come of uh, Mary and Martha and said, Lord, please come. Your friend Lazarus is sick. And then it reads, and so he decided to stay three days. And the disciples were confused. And then he says, it is time to go. And the disciples were like, but what's going to happen? And he says, Lazarus is asleep. We must go to wake him. And they warned him. They said, if he's asleep, he'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Let's stay out of trouble. And then it says, then the Lord said plainly, he is dead. And so they go. And as they go, Martha runs out and they say, Lord, Lord, have you had been here, you could have saved him. She knows all the miracles he's done. She knows he's given sight to the blind. He's lifted the lame. He's cured other people and even raised the dead. And she was distraught and sad and brokenhearted. She said, Lord, if you had been here, Lazarus would not have died. And he says to her, Lazarus will rise again. And she says, because she knows, Lord, yes, I know in the day of the resurrection, my brother will live again. And Christ says to her, I am the resurrection. Can you imagine what that would sound like, what that would mean at that time? They just lost their brother. They're in the presence of greatness of Jesus Christ, who's done so many great miracles, and yet the brother still died. But he assures her, I am the resurrection. I am the life. Though you may die, those who believe will live. And I imagine she was still confused, and Mary comes running up and says, has the same conversation. Where were you? You could have prevented all of this. And he says, take me to the tomb. And he weeps. The shortest verse, he wept. And it reads that the people watching this, they said, oh, he must have loved him a lot. And he gives, offers a prayer. And he says, I'm glad these things have happened. 
not for my sake, but for their sake, that they may see the true glory of God. And still they're, they're, they know better. The Lord says, remove the stone. And they're like, no, no. He's been dead for four days. It's, it's not advisable. There'll be an odor. In the icon of St. Lazarus, they show the men rolling away the stone and they're covering their face because they're anticipating the odor. And he tells them to do it, remove the stone. And all he says is, Lazarus, come out. That's it. Lazarus, come out. And Lazarus, as we know, he comes out. And interestingly, he tells the people around, he says, Un unbound him, unbind him, free him from the funeral cloths. What an invitation to us as a community for one another to unbind each other from their funeral cloths, from the binds that prepare us for death. And Lazarus comes out and they unbind him. Christ is the resurrection. He is the life. We, we know the songs. We know the readings. But it's still hard to have it in our heart and to have it in our mind, the reality. And so he is the life. He is the re resurrection. And Sophia shared this the same belief that though we may die, we may live again. And Sophia was a great example to me for her faith, for her love, for her family, the love she showed for me, even when we haven't seen each other for, seems like, ages. Though we may die, we may live again. That is the invitation for all of us. In the Orthodox Church, we have our funeral service, and, and the casket is always open for us to say goodbye, but it's, an also, it's also an opportunity for us to, to look upon our own mortality, to see how our lives are. And a lot of times we'll say about someone who's departed, they're waiting for me in heaven. And it's a beautiful, a beautiful thought and, and image. But then we have to ask ourselves, are we living a life in a way that would lead us to heaven. And funerals are a great opportunity for us to reflect upon that. How are we living? Do we follow the Lord? Do we give ourselves to Him as He gave Himself to us, for all of us? And so we say goodbye to Sophia, and we, we think of the other writings of the Scripture where St. Paul says, I've run the race and completed the race to the end and received my crown. And we can think of Sophia receiving her crown, waiting for us, for us to pass the uh, finish line. We fight the good fight, and especially in this time of COVID and other things, you know, we are constantly reminded of Christ's undying love for us. That though he died, he lives again. And he invites us into that same reality, that same kingdom that he has prepared for us. And that whatever may get us down and scare us and make us sick. I have a, a woman back at home. She's 98. And she tells me two things that her parents taught her. Her father told her, never give up. I said, you're, you're 98. <laughs> what are you going for? And then her mother said, well, if you don't have your health, you don't have anything. And I said, oh, no offense to your mom, but she's wrong. And she's like, what? I said, even without our health, we may not have our ability to move around and, and do what we want to do. But without our faith, then we have nothing. For we can still have our faith while we're sick, as I'm sure Sophia did. 
We can still have our faith when in times of challenges and turmoil. And it's our faith that though we may lose the race, we, we gain the prize. We gain the prize. And so our health is not the, the idol that we sometimes mistake it for. It's Christ, which is our God. And it's our faith in him that will carry us through, through death into new life. So we say, may her memory be eternal, that she eternally lives in God. And may we reflect upon her own life, that we too may achieve that same crown of victory and dwell eternally with God. May her memory be eternal. Amen. At this time, I will invite the funeral director down, and here's what we'll do. We're gonna turn Sophia and invite you to come down this aisle, and you may pass over, and then go down the center aisle to your cars, and we will make our way to the cemetery for the burial. You can come down, I'm stalling. Uh, there'll be an opportunity at the gravesite to greet one another, uh, but it's, it's chilly, so don't take too long. You're all here, we know you, you love her and her family. We can turn. And then, other instructions? Uh, lunch, afterwards. lunch afterwards. So, please come down, cross in front. <clears throat> you may say a prayer, you may offer a kiss, uh, and then depart to your car for the a procession to the cemetery. <clears throat> Lefte, te lefte on aspasmon, though men other feet of thanoni, efraris tu deseo, aftigar exedipe, της υγιένειας αυτής και προς τα φόν επίγεται που και στη φροντίζουσα τα της μαθαιότητος και πολυμόχθους αρκός. Μην τε συγγενείστε και φίλοι Άρτη χωριζόμεθα, αναπάσε κυρίως ευξόμεθα. Brethren, what is this parting, this wailing, this grieving in life's turning point? Come now, let us greet her who was but now one of us, for she is consigned to the tomb to be covered with a stone. Darkness is her abode, and the dead is her companions. All of us, family and loved ones, who are now parted from her who went with the Lord to repose her soul. So that to sell peace or does he say meet it to the wood to live the ogenitria et isse presvies ton ipe agathon anapapse os de omeza tin min metastasan ezu ezta thion agathon pliron nomon dixon en avles to dikeon is primosinon panamome eonion.
Αγίωσο Θεός, Αγίος Ισχύβος, Αγίος Αθάνατος, Ελέησον ημάς, Όλοι γάτ, Όλοι μάιτι, Όλοι μόρτα, Εμέρσι όνας, Αγίους ο Θεός, Αγίους ισχύους, Αγίους αθάνατος, ελέησο Sprig with hyssop and I should be clean. Wash me should water than snow. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world of those whom dwell therein. You are the earth, and to the earth you shall return.
愛を消せよ。愛を死しろ。愛を刺さなと。Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For you, the resurrection, the life, the repose of your departed servant Sophia, who has fallen asleep, O Christ our God. To you, we ascribe glory together, beginning as Father, your all holy, good, and life giving Spirit, now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. Dear Fontona, your patrimon, Kiri, Su Christe, O Theos, Eleison, Keso, Sonimas. Amen.